Don't do this in your code. Seriously, it looks stupid and is also really annoying to read and edit, especially on a larger scale. So do everyone a favor and hear me out. First of all, why exactly is this bad? Well, it's not that bad, but it is a bad practice that can lead to spaghetti code. This might be fine to start with, but what if you have to add more conditions? Well, then you get this. In this video, I'll explain two variants of a method that I find works best for me. There are definitely many other ways you can do this, so if you have your own method, go ahead and leave it in the comments. Anyway, I'm not gonna waste any more of your time. Let's get into it. So the first method I'm going to show you is the simplest one. So, first of all, we're going to take all of this code here and chuck it in a new function I'm going to call shoot logic, and then we can just paste it in there. So now we have our code in here, what we simply want to do is for every condition we have, we want to rewrite it, but as the opposite. So here we have, if we're not reloading, then we want to continue, but here, if we are reloading, then we want to continue into this if statement. But what we want to do here is write return. So what this means is when it runs this function and it gets to this point here, it will stop. It will stop running this entire function. So if we do this with every condition we have, so if you do all of that, then it will look something like this. So what this means is if we're reloading, then return. If we're already shooting, then return. If we're sprinting, then return. If we're not on the ground, return. And if we don't have ammo, then we also return. If we get past all of these, all the conditions are met, then we go on with our function. The difference is if you want to add a new condition, instead of having to go get rid of all of those, write our new condition in, do that, and then paste that in there. So instead of having to do all that to edit it, now all you have to do is do this. And bam, you have a new condition. You can do that as many times as you like. However, let's say you don't want to have to look at all this. This takes up a lot more space. So what if you just don't want to look at it? Well, you could hide it, but what if you're trying to edit this and there's also stuff up here you want to edit? Well then, this is my second method that I like to use. So basically, we take shooting logic. Instead of having it as a void return type, we want to give it a boolean return type. In all of these, we want to return false. So now that you've done that, we're at where we write our logic in here, we just want to write in return true. Take this, and now up here, all we write is if shoot logic, and then pass null logic there. And then you can just hide that, and you don't have to worry about it again, unless you want to add more conditions. So that's it. I hope you found this video at least remotely helpful, and if you enjoyed it, perchance like and subscribe. Also, if I missed anything critically important, please correct me in the comments. Anyway, thanks for watching.